Went up to the boat today. We're at high tide right now. It's around 11 tide. That's how high tide is right now. So there's about four foot of that post showing. We're okay though. Got the transducer removed and we are going to put it inside. Mounted additional battery holder. There's the original right there, so we're gonna put the other one right there. Also ran the new or the transducer line. Comes up down, connects right there. Now we're gonna go down. It's gonna go through there, go around there, come right here, go around right there in this compartment right here under the table. Come out over here, and then we have glued it right here so she is silicone down all right we just turned it on all right so that 15.4 and it showed 89.6 for the temperature but that's good it shows we're going 0.2 knots but we're just rocking right now so that's good so it works and install some new cable back there the yellow cable it holds that in got snakes there abuse the snake So this is the switch that we purchased to connect both of our batteries, to switch between one and the other. And this is what we received. It's literally the size of my hand. This is the, this is for like, what in the world? Where do people install a switch this big? I mean, how big are the batteries if the switch needs to be this size? That's hysterical. Does it? <laughs> 16 inches. All right. It's to switch between one battery to the other one, or both. I know, but it's almost the size of the stupid battery itself. It's ridiculous. Uh, that's the biggest, come here, bring it closer. What is, I could not have picked a noisier time to make this video. We've got the lawn mowing company out here, and the fans, and. Don't take another coat because we have, it's pooped up on us. It's coop, it's too wet on it's us? It's pooped up. Oh God, this is noisy as all get out. You look at it from the side, get down low. No, I don't need to. You can see it? I can very much see it, and it's actually really cool. Well, and I will tell you why. It makes it look like a 3D map, and it makes it look like we have mountains in the area where we live. We <laughs> I know we don't have mountains here, but it makes it look like we do. It's so leveling, and this is level. The camera is not catching any of your voice. With all this racket. Leveling stuff, but it's not uh, it's not leveling. Self-leveling but didn't level. Um, you look at it from the side, there's no it's no it's not level whatsoever. I don't understand what you mean by level. It's it's like uh like when you pour concrete, it's gonna it's gonna level, okay? Oh, because you're talking about like my fingers going down. Right, it, it's it's self-leveling and it didn't self-level. Well, but you said you're gonna put another coat. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I have to sand it. And then... Babe, I honestly, honestly, I honestly like it. think it looks really cool. I really, really do. So, I understand that you're a perfectionist. It's probably coming out this end too. So I was putting this, dump, this cake on it. I even looked at it underneath. I do definitely think it needs another. It's gonna coat. have to. It's in this. It's gonna have to go to the to the edge instead of. That's fine. So. The reason that he's saying to the edge and it's gonna have to is because we didn't originally want it to go to the edge because if we um if we put a glass or something on here, the whole thing was that if the boat rocks, it would go to the edge and it would capture it without falling. Um, so that was the reasoning behind us wanting to keep a little bit of a lip here. But in all actuality. After having been on the boat, especially this past weekend in 15 knot winds <laughs> and having a hell of a time um, sailing, a little lip like this would not have kept anything on the table anyway. Everything would have completely gone all over the place. So the lip would be useless. So I think if we put another coat and make it completely even and flat, I think it's gonna be perfect. Oh, I got Look, it makes it look like there's a mountain going through the middle of the Cali Bogey Sound. I think it's really cool. I like it. What I'm doing is making this right here. Hang on, let me get closer to you so I'll they can hear you exactly. your voice. Stay right I love this. It looks shiny. It looks like gold. The other one that we have. Oh wait, we're on to electronics now? Yeah. That's so I this did. might be a different video. Hold on. to be 
where the uh, electrical the panel is. Okay. This is going to install like this because the old one is smaller. Yeah. But the new one is kind of large, and then I'm going to install it. So you're you're removing the panel we have now right. that has uh, like little circular fuses. Fuses. All right now we don't have fuses. Okay. Okay. So we and bought all those. Fuses. It's going to be like this, and then the um, build is going to go down here. That big, the big red thing. I'm not putting it in there because it's not. Why it's are you lifting the suck sink? The big red thing. The big red thing. The Remember switch. We got the, yeah, the to, switch. To switch to I'm batteries. just going to put it as you come down. You know where the um, where the uh, companion way is. Yeah. That you step on the new the new pad stuff. Yeah. And you go down into the uh, boat. Yeah. Right there, that area is where we're going to mount it. Okay. But this I'm just making so we can attach this to it and uh, I'm gonna route this. Took the old breaker out or switch panel out, had to cut out a new one. So this one would fit in its place. We're gonna get it attached right now. All right, got the uh, electrical panel installed. Now just gotta wire it. Think about putting the switch right here so we can uh, switch between the batteries. There's no room over here over here well got it fixed this is the uh new panel and this is the new battery thing switcher and got her hooked up it works there's all got the bolts turn it off now it's off so i'll turn it on real quick that's the number two battery, which is the newer battery. It's the volts on it right now. Everything works so far. That's all I've done today. Well, it seems it's uh, gonna rain for me today. Thank goodness we got this up. Bimini, got one leak, one screw right there, which is that one at the end down there. When we take this hatch off, we need to redo this silicone on the wood there. Yeah, everything looks, else looks okay. Well, after cleaning off the poo yesterday, it looks like uh, whatever's pooing up there does not like the snakes up there. So I guess they're just going to poo all over it. Clean it off yesterday. Yeah. Maybe I'll move the snakes somewhere else down here, maybe. So they won't, because they're not pooing over here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. All right. We have got two wires somewhat connected right now but I'm gonna turn on some light so we can see there's the back of the panel right here and so what I've got is over here that's your positive terminal that is the all your terminals or all your positives gonna go to there and then you're gonna go back to the back of the panel that's your negative panel right there and then all your negatives are gonna cut over there that bus bar. So right now, I've got it wired. So the negative right here goes all the way over there. Let's go see if the light's on. All right, I got the back light running. Ta -da. This one goes right here, goes to the bow, runs all the way behind that board. All the way, all the way, all the way behind into the bow uh, where the uh, chain comes out. This one right here, comes and goes right here it comes around and goes behind that board all the way and you can see it running right there and comes out Do I... well i found out why the mass wasn't working this thing right here the shots inside so i had to go buy a new one right here so i'm gonna install it right now okay we've got this um installed now 12, six bolts on that one, 12, eight on that one. So we've got our depth finder right there. Then we have our running lights, we have our mask, and then this connects to the um, compass. So let's go down here and take a look at, sorry about the shaky. Go down here and take a look now at all my wires. Everything's right there. All your negatives come in, and that goes to your positives. And everything runs down here. Or right, then the back down here. Got your bilge right there attached to the ground. And then we have it ready to go right there. So it's all cleaned out. And the bilge is on right now for auto. And it's just on the battery. So it's not running at all. 